of expression is a great thing. Open Gangnam Style. But sometimes pop music just takes it too far. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most hated songs. For this list, we've included songs that have enjoyed success, but that have also left a legacy of hatred. We're not saying we hate these songs, but in some cases we understand why people do. Hamster Dance, Hampton the Hamster. If there were ever an advert for the dangers of the internet, this is it. Initially created by Canadian art student Deidre Lacarte for her pet hamster. <laughs> This little ditty was the result of a competition between her and her friends to produce the most internet traffic. It was a slow start for Hamster Dance, but eventually, annoyingly, it really took off. Animated Hampton and his fuzzy little friends were all over the radio, the television, on t-shirts and coffee mugs. This virus went viral, and our ears are only just recovering. Number 9. Party in the USA, Miley Cyrus. Originally written for British songstress Jessie J, Party in the USA was passed on to Miley after it was deemed not edgy enough. Considering the ex-Disney star's well-publicized change of image since then, the record must annoy her as much as it does us. This is her transitional period between Kids TV and Twerk Supremo, and it's a little bit of everything and a whole lot of nothing. The DJ plays my song and I feel It's cheesy and makes you feel a little queasy. My tummy's turning and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Kind of like that line. <laughs> Number eight, Axel F, Crazy Frog. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Little did he know he'd set in motion a chain of events that would lead to this. The cell phone had a ringtone, the ringtone had a market, and then came Crazy Frog. The computer animated skeletal amphibian character then hatched this Axel F remix of the Beverly Hills Cop theme that found overnight infamy and legendary hate. We know it's nonsense, we know it's garbage, but try going the rest of the day without humming it. Exactly. Number 7. Stupid Ho, Nicki Minaj. Sometimes rap music can give us some brilliant lyrics. This is not one of those times. The stupid hoe in question is supposedly Nicki Minaj's adversary, Lil' Kim. But no one's really quite sure and no one really cares. really did inspire this track, then we're all hoping they can find it in their hearts to forgive one another. Stupid hoes is my enemy. Stupid hoes is so whack. And take the epilepsy-inducing video accompaniment off the TV as well. Number 
six, the ketchup song Asareje, Lost Ketchup. Mira lo que se avecina a la vuelta de la esquina, viene Diego of the most successful songs to make this list. The Ketchup Song hit number one on multiple charts across the globe. It's like a 21st century of the Macarena with a little less hand movement and a little more sauce. Released in July of 2002, you gotta hope that the listening public had been outside in the summer sun for too long that year. It's innocent and infectious, but most of all, it's irritating. You gotta punch, then crank back three times. Number five, crank that soldier boy. Soldier Boy, tell him. Soldier Boy, I'm in it. Oh. Why me crank it? Why me roll? Why me crank that Soldier Boy, that Superman? That oh. Now why me? A roar goes up on any nightclub dance floor when this song starts playing. Crank that Soldier Boy. Now why me? You crank that Soldier Boy. Now what? Soldier Boy, I'm in it. Oh. Why me crank it? Why me roll? But it's not always clear if it's a roar of approval or of anguish. Haters wanna be me, Soldier Boy. I'm the man. They be looking at my neck, saying it's doom rubble. Bam. In 2007, Soldier Boy invaded music charts worldwide, and he's been on an imperial march ever since. No, you can't do it like me, though. So don't do it like me, folks. I seen you try to do it like me. Man, that damn was ugly. So he's the gangster that gets on our nerves. He's also annoyingly successful, though. Soldier Boy, that Superman, that oh. Now I mean you. Crank that song. Now I mean you. Crank that song. Now I mean you. An unbelievable, unexplainable success. Crank that just will not go away. Crank that song. Now what? Mean you. Crank that song. Now what? Mean you. Crank that song. Now what? But I'd been forgotten, I Joe. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Number four, Cotton Eye Joe, Rednecks. But I'd been forgotten, I Joe. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? If you grew up in the 90s, this would have been the main event at your school discos. If you've ever been to a wedding, this was probably played when drunkenness replaced logic. Ironically, if you've ever been line dancing, this was probably not on the playlist. In 1994, rednecks burst onto the scene with their neo-country beats, and they've been champions of cheese ever since. Where did they come from, and when will they go? What you gonna do with all that junk, all that junk inside your trunk? Number three, my humps, the black eyed peas. It's rare that a song's title should also be the majority of its lyrical content. When the title is a reference to a band member's breasts, and it's repeated over 30 times, that's rarer still, but not in a good way. There's no doubt that Fergie's an attractive lady, but do we really need this perpetual piffle to remind us so? I'm just trying to dance, boy, and move my heart, 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 my heart. My heart. I am is right though. There is a lot of junk on this record. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside that trunk. It's just not in Fergie's jeans. Number two, Friday, Rebecca Black. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning. Gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs. Gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. Seeing everything, the time is going. It used to be our favorite day of the week. And then Rebecca Black happened. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. Yes, some of us want to get down on Friday, but we haven't got to. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, partying, partying. Some of us just want to go home on Friday or go to sleep. 
It's more than just the generalization, though. Friday is the musical accompaniment to every kind of meltdown. We gonna have a ball today. Tomorrow is Saturday, and Sunday comes after words. Amassing over 3 million dislikes on YouTube, this teen pop tune probably still got off lightly. Partying, 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 partying. Fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to the weekend. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable, mentions. Baby, Justin Bieber. You know you love me. I know you care. Just shout whenever, and I'll be there. You want my love. Believe it or not, this song and its video are amongst the most successful in the early 21st century. Though the floppy fringed cutie soon grew up, he was kind enough to write a chorus for the brain-numbing baby before he turned bad. And I was like, baby. is an all-out attack on the senses. It's to the ears what pepper spray is to the eyes, what herbal remedies are to the taste buds. When I was 13, I had my first love. There was nobody that compared to my baby and nobody came between us, so could ever come above. And that's why it's our runaway winner. Well done, Justin. Agree with our list? What's your most hated song? For more annoying top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.